Well, folks, you all are gonna know my next guest. Her career has spanned more than 30 years. You know her from her roles in House Party, Little Shop of Horrors, School Days, Boomerang, My Wife and Kids, and of course her defining role as Gina Waters Payne on the series Martin. Uh, she's now starting in, starting in a new role on ABC's Dr. Ken. So Allison was all like, we gotta lock her down. And I was like, no, we gotta give her some freedom. <laughs> There is no way it went down like that. She's right. It's, look, I, I did give Molly the car, but it is killing me. Oh, don't let it, Dr. Park. Molly seems like a good kid. You're right, she is. I tell you, she's just going to a friend's house to study. No bigs. Friend's house to study? Mm-hmm. What, you don't believe that's where she's going? Oh, no, that's every girl's dream, to get her license so she can drive to a friend's house to study. <laughs> Please welcome my friend, Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell Martin. Oh, excuse me, I ain't see it. What's up, girl? <laughs> a band member who has the same exact name Girl. as you, and every now and then I'll call Steve, like out of nowhere, his personal line, and be like, hey, we got practice. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? What? <laughs> Seriously. His name is Steve Harvey, so and I apologize. His name is Steve his Harvey? His name is Steve Harvey. And you text me all the all time. All the time. And it'd be and it's stuff so embarrassing. Where I don't I'd be know like... a damn thing about. <laughs> First, I didn't know what was going on, because <laughs> it was just band talk. It was band talk. But if you don't Banter. know band talk, it sounds like you having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. You I'm didn't so have true. the right beat. We need to get it back. More <laughs> practice, baby. More practice. Uh, and I was, seriously, that's, that's the that's, that's, that was looks crazy, so I need to apologize for that. But that's okay, because uh, <laughs> how you been, though? I've been so good, my family's good. I just celebrated my 19th wedding anniversary 19 with my husband. 19 years. Yes, there's my baby. See, 25 years together, though. 25, 25 years, years together, ago. yeah. See, that's almost impossible in this business. Well, yeah, in Hollywood years, years, it's like 100 years. Yeah, like, so, like dog, yeah, dog years, years. yeah. Yeah, but no, we've been together a long time and it doesn't even feel that way. You, you're such a trailblazer. Let me ask you this Aww. question. When you see the success of shows like Blackish mm -hmm. and Viola Davis's Emmy win, how do you feel about it? It makes me so proud. I've been in the business for 43 years, since I was three years old. <laughs> and the career lifespan of any actor is only five years. So to, to sustain a career and to see the ups and downs of the career of, of African Americans on television, it's such a big deal to have Viola and the speech was amazing. But, you know, to have them doing dramas as well as comedies and you see multifaceted and that's again why me doing this new show with Ken Jong is so important because there hadn't been a wow. Asian actor in starring in a network television show. It was 20 years. And Ken Jong, you know him, he's a stand up, but most people know him from the Hangover movies. Right. You know, he's Mr. Chow. But so here's what they Asian. don't know. In real life, he's a doctor. He's a real doctor. So this show is loosely based on his life. Very yeah, loosely. Lo very loosely. Cause the dude in the hangover was my dude. What's up, my dad? Hello! What's, what's up? What's up? Brilliant. When he did Brilliant. that, I was laughing so hard, yes, man. Yes, me too. This dude was crazy, man. <laughs> and, and he's just like that. Like, he will do anything for a joke. He reminds me a lot of Kevin Hart. Like, they will do anything for a joke, and they're really nice people. And I'm just so proud of this show. It's gonna be a trailblazing show. What is it about? Oh, sorry. Okay, so it's loosely based on Ken Jong's real life, and he's a doctor. It's called Dr. Ken. I play Demona, his receptionist. I'm a little bored, so I like to rile things up. 
Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm also in charge of everybody's vacation time, so I'm the boss, really. I'm the real boss. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's loosely based on your real life, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I am not the real boss. Yeah, yeah. I'm so not the real boss. Teacher, not in my stop, household. Please. Not in my household. Well, who is? Who the boss? Dwayne Martin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marjorie says that about me publicly, too. <laughs> yeah. Steve is the head of our family. We are harvest and what Steve say like go. Like this? Yeah, until we get to the house. I ain't in charge of a damn thing. <laughs> I walk in the house, and my kids have actually told on me before. <laughs> let, let me ask you now, this is what you all don't know, but you just released your first album in 20 years. This girl can sing, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. How, how, how'd you get back into singing? You know what? It was my husband. He, <laughs> we own a restaurant in, in LA called Zen Lounge. It's named after my firstborn. And so he built this stage and called me and was like, yeah, I built a stage. You're gonna be singing. I'm putting a band together. And you ain't gonna be looking at me years from now talking about some shit or coulda, woulda. So I want you to start singing. And then all these producers kept coming and, and seeing me sing. And there was this one producer named um, B. Slade, and he did my entire album. He was like, I know what to do with you. And then it got like 730,000 hits on Vivo, the, the video. We're gonna get way more than this now, because yeah. after this year, we're gonna do my show and we're gonna, yes! see, I know how to pump it up. Yes! This is what we're gonna do. Yes, I was hoping so. Yeah, you're my girl, I'm gonna take yes, care of you. Your, your family's one of the great ones out there. I love Thank your husband, you. this is gonna be good. Well, coming up next, everybody, we're gonna have a daytime exclusive. Tisha's opening up about her shocking childhood trauma and how it influenced her latest music video, Still Here. So stay with us. We come back. All that's next. <laughs> hey, I'm back with uh, Tisha Campbell Martin, and uh, there's been a lot of talk about her new music video, Still Here. Tisha, tell us about the concept of the video. Well, well, um, first, the song itself, we wrote, we were just getting to know one another, me and B. Slade, and we sat there and just talked about the ups and downs of our lives, all the things that happened. And then we were like, well, let's write about this. 20 minutes later, Still Here was born. And so then, once we decided to do the visuals, the directress, Victoria Prosciutto, she says, I want to visually put this together with fashion and beauty, but tell your story. So give me five things that you've conquered in your life. And I want to visually bring that to life. And I said, okay, well, I told her about this one subject where um, I received a five page apology letter from the person who sexually assaulted me when I was three years old. And I just received it last year and I showed it to her and, I, and she was like, this is what we're gonna do. Hey, hold on, okay, before we do the video. I know, I'm, t I'm talking a lot. No, no, <laughs> I, got, I got to get some information here. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, I, I've known you a long time. Yes. We had a lot of conversations, this, this ain't been one of them. No. So let, let me get this. A, a guy sexually assaults you yes. at three. Yeah. You get a letter from him a year ago, a year yes. and a half ago. What made him write you, you think? Did he mention he that? He, talked, he did mention it. He said he saw me mentioning it on another program. And he said, I, I have often thought about it over the years and how I wanted to, to you know, reach out to you for so many years. And he got it through a friend of a friend and the cousin of a friend of a friend, and he got it to me. And the blessing in that is I understand that not a lot of people get an apology. So that in itself is a blessing. You understand? Yeah. And you have to learn to forgive so that it can take the blockage away from the blessings that are really coming right. for you. Right. So yeah. when you hold on to negative emotions and anger and grudge and guilt and all of those things, there's something that stops you from moving forward. Absolutely. Blessings. And that's all I'm really trying to say. I'm yeah. not trying to make light of this or make it small. It's just how I choose to deal with this particular situation. No, I, I got what you're saying because I, I learned the greatest thing I learned about forgiveness yeah. was from Bishop T.D. Jakes. Mm -hmm. He said, forgiveness is not for the other person. It's not. It's for you. It's for you. He said, when you don't forgive, it's like you drinking the poison waiting on them to die. Exactly. He said, you just keep sipping the poison waiting on them to exactly. die. Exactly. Because 
even though this is something that happened a long time ago, you could still make it happen in your mind every single day over in your over walk again. in life, over right. and over again, becoming and still be maintaining being a victim. That's not what I do. Right. And I've never been a victim to it, but there was some remnants up in there. Absolutely. And so this is my way of telling him, I forgive you and, and I forgive myself. Wow. I have to. So we're going to play the video. Okay. Set it up what we're going to see. Well, you're going to see a man writing a letter, and then you're going to see the, 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 the actual words of the letter on my body. And also, you're going to see me in a long black dress, and black represents to me strength and beauty. And so when you see the human beings coming out of the dress, there's dancers coming out of the dress, those people represent the regurgitation of guilt, anger, wow. you know, all okay. of those things. So that's what it's really about in the mirrored room is me finding my own demons to be able to be free. And then the, the end of it is me dancing and the freedom and all of that. Okay, well, we've got the music video. Check out Steel Here. Okay, how do we see the whole video? What's oh, the best way? Oh, you can go to way? Vivo. You can pick up the single on iTunes and Spotify. And cool. I got more coming. And again, it's me just being me. And you get to see me just be me. It's not I'm gonna tell you heavy something, folks, all the time. This is one of the coolest people in show business. She really <laughs> is a sweetheart of a person. Thank you, Tisha, for everything. Hey, listen, everybody. You can catch Dr. Ken on ABC Friday nights at 8.30, 7.30 Central. Yeah. Tisha Campbell-Martin, we'll be right back, everybody. Yeah.